We need to shift uh, to non-fossil technology. We need to shift to the green technology. The energy demand in Southeast Asia has grown by approximately 60% uh, in the last 15 years. That in and of itself is no problem. But Indonesia is one of the countries that has the most coal plans on the books. Indonesia Low Emission Network is the new network that we established to facilitate the government the private sectors, the NGOs, and also universities to work together to achieve national emission reduction target. Indonesia is an archipelagic country. We have so many remote islands that need energy as a source of economic development. We are rich on uh, renewable energy resources, wind energy, solar energy, but we only utilize around 20% of this potential. And we hope that through rooftop solar power, our target uh, will be achieved. There are huge market for the solar rooftop implementation in Indonesia. We also have high challenges, financing and technology, and also the awareness. Solar power should definitely be a priority for Indonesia because of the solar capacity that literally shines and because solar is the cheapest source of electricity. The government should be giving capital to uh, the startups for uh, creating energy because there are a lot of young creative people, millennials, so they can make use of the opportunities. If you have a factory, malls, or a company that implement green technology, it will ensure your energy security. One direct benefit is definitely a reduction in, in a monthly electricity uh, bill. And the investment in renewable energy is something that gives an added point or, uh, for a lot of our clients in developed countries. <laughs> this uh, renewable energy paradigm is rather new. So we, I hope that it will speed up our economic growth and give more opportunities to the people in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs>